As preparations are made for the arrival of a new group of refugees in Ireland, Carol Coleman reports now from Carrick on Shannon County Leitrim, where 160 Iraqi Kurds were resettled under a UN programme 10 years ago. Carrick Library, and among the Cathy Kellys and Maeve Binchies, is a shelf of Kurdish books. A reminder to Awara, an Iraqi Kurd who came as a child refugee 10 years ago, that she must straddle two cultures. I speak Kurdish inside the house with family members and as the minute I step out of the house it has to be English and sometimes as I speak English um, I get mixed between the two languages. Although Carrick and Shannon is multicultural, it was a big challenge to assimilate 13 families who arrived with nothing. I think it was important to have a coordinated response locally. Um, to look at issues such as housing, to look at issues such as health and education as well. Inside Jabbar Azizi's home, extended family gather to watch a video of the day they left the windy camp in Jordan. Having been displaced their entire lives, they know what refugees yet to come to Ireland have been through. Now the pain they're feeling to leave their homeland for a safe place or safe thing, I could feel that pain because I was the same when I left my homeland. I had no choice to left it, you know. I have to leave it or I would die. Since settling here, relatives and boyfriends have joined them. One risking life and limb under the axle of a truck from Calais. Another, a Kurdish Peshmerga fighter, just arrived from battling ISIS in Iraq. Thank God he just came over safely, but... He's a good Peshmerga and we all respect him as a Peshmerga. Of the 13 families who came here in 2006, most are still here 10 years later. Some people have found work in local companies and shops while others are studying. And there have been several babies born here. I think is maybe, I count as maybe 24 babies born and carry on Shannon, boy and girl. The advice from locals to other towns expecting new arrivals is simple. Welcome them. Show them a warm welcome. Go to their homes and tell them they're welcome. It'll break barriers for both sides. Barriers that Awara no longer feels as she imagines her future. I, I don't want to live Carrick, to be honest, because I grew up here, so I call this my hometown. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for the world. Carol Coleman, RTE News.